So this is Manjaro and it's based on Ash Linux. I'll click on download. So it takes you here to download x86. And here you have some choices that you can download. I'll click on more. You can choose minimal or full. So the version is 26.0 and that's the latest version. So I already created a bootable USB drive with Rufus. So I'm going to select boot with open source drivers. So I'm installing the Plasma Edition. This is the welcome page. I'm going to launch the installer. So this is the Calamari installer. I'm going to leave it as American English. This is location. This is the keyboard layout. So this is the partition section. So as you can see, I only have one hard drive. And these are the options. I'm going to leave it at erase disk. I'm going to select swap the file. I'm going to leave it at btrfs. I'm not going to encrypt the system. I'll create an account. I'll type a password and I'm going to select use the same password for the administrator account. So this is the office suite. So I have two options, LibreOffice or FreeOffice. I'll select LibreOffice. So this is a summary. I'll click on install. So installation is complete. I'm going to restart the computer. So I'll click on the applications launcher. This is favorites. This is all applications. This is development, education, graphics, health, internet. So Firefox is the default web browser. This is multimedia, office, system. Utilities. So there's application, places, sleep, hibernate, restart, shutdown. I'll open settings. So they are grouped by categories, input and output. Connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, security and privacy, language and time, and system. Now open the file manager. I'll create a new folder. Click on properties. I'll right click the desktop. Click on display configuration. I'll click on wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers.
So on Teams, I'm going to select Breeze Dark Team. So I'll open the Terminal app. So I'll check the kernel version. I'll type uname R. So it's 6.18.3. So I'm going to install HTOP and VLC Media Player. So I'm going to type this command. I'll type the password. So VLC Media and HTOP was installed. I'll open HTOP. I'll open VLC Media. So I'll right click the panel. These are the options. Show panel configuration. I can move the panel on the left. I'll move the panel on the right. I'll leave it at the bottom. So I'm going to open the Add and Remove software app. So it's in all applications and this is it, Add and Remove software. Okay, so there's Browse. And you can download any one of these apps. There's install, there's updates. And on the left side, you can also search for apps here. So on the left side, there's categories. Groups. And repositories. So this is the version. So I'm going to add more virtual desktops. And under apps and windows, I'll click on windows management. Select virtual desktops. So right now there are two virtual desktops. I can add more here. So now I have five virtual desktops. So it's here. So I can also enable the cube feature. So to do that, I'll click on desktop effects. Scroll all the way down to Windows Management. And I'm going to select cube. Click apply. So to activate the cube feature on the keyboard, I'll hold the super key and the C key. So this was just a quick overview of Manjaro 26.0. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.